Well, good morning and welcome to our Cal Rossi Anglican School Anzac service. As we have Anzac Day in slightly unusual circumstances, uh, normally we will, would have probably been to a dawn service and maybe marched down Peel Street here in Tamworth. And as we come back to school, we, we gather for a whole school Anzac service. And so we thought it was still appropriate to commemorate such a significant day in the life of our country, April 25th. It all began in 1915 as Australian and New Zealand troops, Anzac troops, landed under very heavy fire at Anzac Cove at Gallipoli. And it was then that this whole notion was forged of Anzac Day. For on this day we commemorate and celebrate those who have given their lives, who have su su suffered and sacrificed so much in service of our country, whether it was in that war or those subsequent. This is a very special day in our nation's history, and it's important that we remember it. We're blessed to have with us this morning Flight Lieutenant Reverend Simon Carter, Chaplain for the Armed Forces, we have our chairman, Major David Lamb, a current service member. Mr. Smith will also be doing some readings for us. And it's important as well that we acknowledge the land on which our school and Tamworth is based, the land of the Gamilaroi people. And we will acknowledge the elders past, present and future. And now without further ado, I welcome Mr. David Smith to come and read the Bible passages for us. Thanks, Mr. Smith. I'm going to be doing the Bible reading from Psalm 23, a well-known psalm of comfort over the ages. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is the word of the Lord. And a second reading comes from John chapter 15. Again, very, very well-known words from Jesus that have given comfort to many people over the years. John 15. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down his lives for one's friends. Good morning, and thank you for taking the time today to pause and reflect on the importance of Anzac Day. It is an Anzac Day with a difference, but potentially one that identifies you more to the spirit of Anzac than any other. In past years, I, like you, have participated in remembering the great sacrifice, sometimes the ultimate sacrifice and service of those who have gone before us. In the Bible reading of John 15 we have just heard, we are reminded that there is no greater sacrifice than for one man to lay down their life for another. It can be difficult, maybe impossible, to describe in a way that is sufficient to demonstrate the gratitude for this service, service and in many ways ultimate sacrifice. For the Defence Force men and women who have served on operations, this is a particularly reflective time. Active service, particularly in war or warlike operations, brings understanding, insight and for some, first-hand experience into the character that is Anzac. War and unspeakable stress can bring out the worst in people, but also these experiences can also bring out the very best. What is this character that so profoundly defines Anzac and now unites our nation? 
It is a character of courage underpinned by a very specific set of values. Values that, when held on to, can endure every significant hardship and difficulty placed upon them. Values that underpin the character set by the Anzacs when facing unspeakable difficulty and stress. It is values of selflessness, resilience, honesty and trust. The ability to be one together, not against each other. You might be familiar with the values of selflessness, resilience, honesty and trust, as these are your school values. They have been for many years, but like the Anzac experience, are really only tested when under stress, when one is facing a time of significant hardship and difficulty. This can be a good opportunity if we respond in the right way. If the original Anzacs were here today, they might look fondly upon the country Australia has become because of their service. But equally, they would encourage you to stand up, have courage, be resilient, put others first. It is curious the demands of the spirit of the Anzacs are values that are foremost biblical Christian values. But in whom do we trust? The COVID pandemic had brought, um, has brought unprecedented hardship on so many levels. This is without question. But God remains in control. Now more than ever, warrants seeking a turning towards him. The fog of war and experience of extreme stress in so many ways invokes an environment that is beyond our control. It is as best managed. The pandemic you experience around you is in so many ways similar. Man can attempt to manage, but cannot control. Turning the TV on each day is a testament to this. Government scientists, doctors, health practitioners are doing an incredible job to manage the current pandemic, very much with the courage and the spirit of Anzacs. But think of the global scale of this pandemic. No man or woman, or group of men or women controls the whole of global effect. Only God is actually in control. Only trust in him who has ultimate authority and dominion of this world will bring true peace, confidence and a hope to the chaos around us. Principal David Smith signed a letter recently to the school with the signature statement of stay strong. Today on Anzac Day, I ask you to honour the Anzacs and reflect their example of courage as Australians. Be selfless by putting others first. Be helpful to others and remain polite and courteous. Be resilient by remaining patient and stay strong as you endure the challenges at this time. The original Anzac set the bar very high. Now is your time to achieve this exemplary standard. I encourage you to place your trust in God. Only he can bring true contentment. This too will pass, lest we forget. My, my name is Flight Lieutenant Carter. I'm a chaplain with the Air Force and I would like to lead us through the commemoration on this Anzac Day. We start with a prayer. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for all those who did not count their lives dear to themselves, but laid them down for our sakes. Let the memory of their devotion and sacrifice always be an example to us, that we may live as faithful servants of him who died for our eternal salvation. We look forward with thanksgiving to that time when we will join with all those who have died in the faith in joy of your heavenly kingdom, where sorrow and pain are no more, and where every tear will be wiped away. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Normally at this time we would invite people to come forward and to lay wreaths, I'd like us to take a moment and give thanks to God and as we commemorate those who have fallen and remember the horror of war. We're going to say the ode. In the ode, there's normally a call and response, or I say something and you respond, and I'm going to ask you to do that at home as we remember those who have fallen. Please stand. They shall not grow old, as we the left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them lest we forget. Let's have the last post.
And the blessing. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honour every person. Love and serve the Lord. Rejoice in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty. Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Let's stand together and sing the national anthem.
Thank you for joining us for our Anzac service. Blessings to you and your family. Amen.